So welcome everybody. Um, we are going to do the last part of the CAD workshop. Um, CAD 2 workshop for the ITLM. ITLM. And that is making drawings. So we should have on everyone's screen here a copy of uh, the assembly we made in the first three parts of the workshop. There it is in all its glory. Nice. And so, yeah, how would we send this off to a machine shop to actually get these parts made? What would that look like? Well, we would often send up send out drawings. So let's figure out how to make those drawings. All right, so there's a couple of different ways to do it, but the way that um, the way that the ITLL engineers walk us through it is to actually just um, click on a click on a button on the lower left corner here. So you go down here, insert a new element, and that is create draw. There we go. And so this one says recently opened. Yeah, because I've been playing around with this. So if we click on on shape, though, we can see a variety of different templates. I'm going to do ANSI A inch. Hit OK. And so let's do our green part first. Why not? So there's our green part. Click on that. And we can see that's a little smaller than um, we see in the ITLL PowerPoint. Because over here, we want to click on one to one. So we can click on the view scale. The other thing we see is they inserted the top view. So let's just do that. So we insert the top view. Wait a little bit, and there it is. Cool. Right, and so after we put in our top view, you can see up here it says add projected view. And so if I drag this over to the right, you can see that that's going to be our right view. Now it says add projected view. I click on what I want to project, and I drag this one down. And that is going to be our front view. Sweet. So nothing to that. And then the next thing you often want to do is put some dimensions on there. So the dimension looks like this. So here's my mouse. You go up there, click on dimensions. And yeah, let's start dimensioning this. So we have our overall two. And then what I'd like to say is that was 0.67. We can go over to 1.33. From there to there, so we know that that's two. There we go. And I'm probably not, I don't do CAD drawings all that often, so I'm sure there are better, more accepted ways to do our dimensions, but I'm going to give it my best shot. So we want to know where that hole is. We want to know how big that hole is. Sometimes we have to turn off dimensions and return it on. Now we should be able to click on there. Maybe not. Let's try that for that. R.2. There we go. I'm just going to update it real quick. So you can see I had some titles and stuff down here, but you're not going to have those. So um, yeah, I want to make sure we start at the same. OK. So after I refreshed it, I was able to click on that, click on this right here. So we want to tell how big that hole is. We said where it's located. And also, let's how far it's located. It's in the center. There we go. All right. So we call this drawing one, and we have a bunch of things that we'd like to put in the title. And so what we can do is we can click on properties. And we can call this, we call it the green part. We could put some things in. We could give it a description. Multiple views of green. Remember, this called one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll call it revision. This is one point two. Click save. 
We can see some of the stuff got imported, but we're missing some titles. And so what's nice is that is actually linked to our green part. So if we go to our green part there and right click on right click on green down on the left here, and go to properties, we can call that the green part. Title. We can give it the title here. To the ITLP Engineering DG. We know my name's on there. Um, yeah, just in case anybody is curious. And we see that nothing happened. We have to go up top and we have to update this workspace. So we hit that. Boom, green part. There we go. So we have a drawing got some dimensions on it. We can clean those up a little bit. Let me try to put them in a place that makes more sense. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, this is a good start. We have our fillets. We have our locations of our holes. We have our overall dimensions. Oh, we're missing a height. Still in our height dimension. Let's do it right here. There we go. All right, so that's our green part. Now yeah, let's try it again for our yellow part. So how do we do it? What are the steps? We do plus, create drawing, the ANCA, that sounds good to me. It's loading drawing, sometimes that takes a little bit. All right, so now we click on yellow. We want to make sure we have the same view scale, so we click over here. You can change that after the fact, but it's just easier to do it at the start. Let's start the same thing. We're going to have the top view here. And we're going to project to our right view. We'll click on that. And the front view. Okay, now we start and we go dimension. That one, that's two, and you are point six one seven. Go to here. Oh, my son's awake. I think I'm almost done. There we go. And we go from here to there. Put our height on it. We do our radius. Do our locations. And we do our full dynamic. Now, the one thing I would want to show is the fillets. Um, but I can't click on them here. And so, what I'll have to do is exit out of drawing or dimension. I'm going to right click and say show hidden lines. There we go. So now I can see these fillets that would be hidden. And I want to say, let's just dimension one of them. There we go. Now we come down here, right click on properties, drawing with the yellow part. Yellow part. Um, yellow. Cad two, part number one, two, three, four, five, six, so nine, eight, seven. Yeah, this was revision one, two. Save that. And again, we're missing stuff here. We go to our yellow part. Right click. We we'll often have um, consistent titles, um, but I forgot what they were. 
the key is to show that they're not here until we go follow the mouse all the way up to update the workspace. Looks pretty good. All right, and so those are drawings, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the ITLP um, CAD2 workshop. If you have any questions, throw them to Slack if you're in my class. Otherwise, um, we try and get these on YouTube, and people can ask questions on YouTube. All right, have a great day, and I'll see you the next. Probably do some Tinkercad soon. All right, bye bye.